Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Lumber Tycoon 2. <clears throat> so, Mummy did a reveal, Bunny did a reveal, everybody's doing the reveals of the new items coming out. And I came here to look for the new painting because it said that it was updated. Change log. Uh, not this one. The, the update on the website. The website said it was updated on the 2nd. Today's the 3rd. And I was hoping to get the picture, but... I didn't. So, Timothy, maybe next time, buddy. It's okay, mon ami. Okay. So, let's go. <clears throat> I am in a private server, so no chat, no no peoples. Like, the it's all disappeared. Oh, goodness. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Sorry. For those of you that don't know, I have a secret called OBS. It's the open broadcast system. Boop. <clears throat> That's a... A little foggy. Let me turn the contrast up a little bit. There we go. Brightness down there. That looks looks relatively good. I think. There we go. Turn off studio mode. Oh yeah, I got a big screen. <clears throat> so if you guys don't oh gosh, that's super bright. If you guys don't know how to get to um, the paint shop, I'll do that real quick. So we're gonna do a couple of things tonight. I'm gonna do the paint shop reveal, show you where how to get to the paint shop and stuff like that. Um, it does require that you spend a little bit of cash money moolah to uh, get on that old taxi, the ferry uh, of Hoover. <clears throat> so, um, right here, you'll notice that I'm not looking at my actual screen. I could look at my actual screen. I mean, it would make it relatively useful for me to look directly, but it's okay. I got a second screen. Oh, brightness! It's like we just came from inside a cave and now we can't see. My future's so bright. I gotta wear shades. <clears throat> so, right here. Oh, oh, before I before I forget. T-Series versus PewDiePie. T-Series versus PewDiePie. I wasn't subscribed to either one of them. Because, quite frankly, it's like... I try not to associate with non... Like... People look at the things that I follow and that I do, and it influences my channel and my viewers. So um, I didn't want to follow either one of them. But given the circumstance of PewDiePie is a content creator, one person, even though like a lot of you were making the uh, the argument of corporations and companies versus individual con uh, content creators, PewDiePie productions ab he is a production company like he is he is a company so um just because it's pewdiepie doesn't mean like it's not still company it's just not corporate like corporate style which that's what t-series is because it's got it like multi-conglomerate blah 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 okay long story short i put out what to like persuade me and a lot of you came up with some very good arguments a lot of you came up with like some very <laughs> bad I don't want to say bad arguments but like really <laughs> so I am now subscribed to PewDiePie PewDiePie you're welcome um good luck so that's that next um my DMs inside my um hold on that's really annoying it's like super bright I'm sorry next my uh my DMs um filters let me turn this filter off real quick I do read them. I'm just gonna come out and say it. I read my DMs inside my uh, Discord. Now, I don't respond to them, okay? And the reason I don't respond to them is because the majority of them are, hi, 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 hi. Hey, code, 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 answer me. Answer your phone. Hey, why aren't you calling me? Call me. If I respond to anyone, it will spawn a conversation like a lengthy conversation and then like I don't get to the other messages um, and I do have like very short amount of time that I get to come out here and record and do all the awesomeness that I do I've even like I've not in, been inside my discord in a while um, so even though I'm checking the messages I'm looking all right if I don't respond don't take offense to it I see a lot of the conversations start out where it's like code oh my gosh I'm a big fan and then 20 lines later, it's like, I can't be, I hate you. You're horrible. You didn't respond. Cry. Really? 
Dude, it, that was like arguing with a wall. Don't do that kind of stuff. With that being said, I was asked a question. Do I believe DMs or private messages are private? No. Okay. And I don't believe that they should be private. Um, even though you think that they're supposed to be private, I want you to realize that you're using the internet. Okay. And this is a big message for parents. This is for teens. This is for kids. This is for everyone. This is a huge warning. Okay. It is the internet. You put anything out there and it will be for life. Okay. There is no getting rid of data. Even if you think that you deleted a DM, it's still there. All data that goes to the internet, that goes to servers, it's being saved. It's relative. I work with data. Okay. And when I create these databases, there is a tag that I usually put on like active or be active be, and it's a, it's a switch on or off. If that content, whatever it is, whether it's a, like a, a ticket or a sale or a part or an inventory, anything, if it's created, we never delete it. I don't delete it. I'm not supposed to delete it. And, and in fact, it's across the board for all technology companies, for all companies in general. You don't delete data. Nobody deletes data. Even the YouTube videos, when you go and say delete video, it's still there. It's just not active. Okay. And it, you can still get to it. So, okay. Public service announcement is aver averted. So... Um, with that being said, yes, if you want to DM me or send me a message, you can. Go for it. Um, I might not respond. Please don't take offense to it if I don't respond. But I will probably read it. So, here we go. <clears throat> oh, uh, by the way, I'm over on the um, tropics. And this is down inside the cave. So this is when you first come out down inside the cave. I've already found the path that I need to take to get to blue wood. So, here, right here. This is the actual start. See where the, the incline turns into flat land? That's the start of the maze. And you got two paths. You got your north path and you got your south path. Okay? That tunnel, I don't know if you can see that. Can I can I adjust the gamma show? Uh gamma. We're gonna turn the gamma up. Turn the contrast up just a little bit and that brightness. Oh, that brightness is good. Hmm. There we go. Okay, so. Now we can see. So this path down here, this leads to the north part of the tunnels. This path right here is just a little loop. Uh, or imagine these, this one right here and this one right here, they're just really big blocks and they're, they're in the shape of a V, like, like that, kind of. Okay, they're like pointing that way. So this just loops around and goes to here. So there's only really two paths, this one and this one. And I can show you this real quick. Uh, in fact, here, I'll just jump out. I'll drop my axe right there, boop, and then jump back into the, 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 ah, jump back into the car. There we go. I'll show you this little path. This is why I have the, uh, the maze path memorized. Okay. It's because I know all these little secrets about it. Boop. So that's, that's the first part of the cave. All right. Whoa. There was that lag on, that's lag on the OBS. Why is OBS lagging? weird so the first path I already know is blocked um, doors one and two are closed uh, doors three and four are closed door five is open I think it was door five so let's go back down this way if we head down this hall just to the left okay and sorry all right see this hallway Mark this off. This is this is to the the back of the caves. This is to the um, paint shop, the the painting shop. Okay, so that's that's not part of the relative paths. Coming out right here. This is path number two. Coming down here. All right. This is a long hallway. Doors five uh, and s no four and five are that way. Six and seven are that way. I'll go show you six and seven just real quick. Oh my gosh. Why is it? Why is the laggy lag? Hold on. What is this doing? It's taking up 19% of the entire process. Why are you taking up so much? OBS page, browser page, what? Browser page? 
Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just keep going. Keep going. Hopefully it'll be better. It was doing great a second ago. Oh, maybe it's because I'm, I'm... Boop, there we go. I was outside studio mode. So, that's door number seven, right there. Okay. And this left path actually leads back to the paint shop tunnel. Okay. This right one right here, this is door number six. And that leads to the back side of the uh, first parts of the tunnel. So, I'll just back up like this. Turn, 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 turn. Alright, this tunnel over here. Do not go down that way. Alright, it's, it's both of those are dead ends and it goes to the right and it goes to the left and there's two people stuck down in there. Right here is what was relative to us. Door number five is open. Alright, normally there's a black door right here on certain days. Door number six... No, door number four. Door number five is right there. So this, sorry, this is door number four. One... Two, three, four. Yeah, door number four. So, for those of you looking for blue wood, it is door number four on Tuesday. I don't know if it's always Tuesday. There's some Tuesdays it's, it's not. What in the world? Oh, I thought I got stuck. All right, turn, 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 turn. Come on, there we go. Turn it around. Whoa, wrong path. That's the dead ends. There we go. So we need to head over to the paint shop. That's where I started. That's where I was going to show you guys. All right, back to the beginning. Right here. We're on the slope. We're going to take the left. All right, and it's four lefts, a right, a left, and a right. Left, left, left. Left, 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 left. Right. Left. And hold on. Wait until it splits again. Left. And then last right. Boop. Right there. There's Timothy. Hello, Timothy. Oh, it's so bright. Get out of here. All right. And to get back, it's just uh, left, right, left, right, 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 right. Whoa. Do, do, do. Getting back is much easier. Just because it doesn't split the same way. There we are. Glorious. All right. <clears throat> I was trying to look and see what this update was, and I can't I can't find it. I don't know that it actually updated or that he did something. He might have just like inserted the objects into the game, but not oh, put them on display yet. Oh gosh. It's so bright! Ah! Okay, hold on. I gotta turn that off. Oh no no no, not blind people. There we go. There we go. Good. Much better. So I figured while I was over here, um, oh no, the ferry just took off. No. I'll go over to Link's Logic, pick up a little bit of logic while we're over there. I got a good 14 minutes now, because it takes seven minutes on every dock for Hoover to um, sit. He's like, I'll leave in seven minutes, and then it's three minutes travel time. Hello, Link. What have you got today? Anything new? Nothing new. Nothing new. Nothing new. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Actually, what base do I have loaded? Oh, I did have an idea. Hold up. I wonder if this is going to work. I don't want to get it up there and, like, crash or get it stuck. Oh, that'd be the worst. There we go. Okay. Okay, Link. We are going to make some purchases. I need wood detectors. Whoa. Why did that? There we go. Wait. Why can't I move? pick it up and I can't move. No, that's not relative. This is not how you carry. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, something's seriously messed up. Okay, can I can I purchase this please, Link? Eleven thousand dollars. <clears throat> yes, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, I can't even alright. 
Boink. There we go. Hopefully I can drive still. Mm -hmm. Just gonna have to do this with all of them. Oh no! No, I'm not doing that. No, no, I don't want to do that. Can we go back in here? At least I got one. Hoover just left too. Uh, I do have an axe, so sure. Let's let's go get some blue wood. Why not? Sounds like a plan. The tower. Oh, oh gosh. I had to sneeze. <clears throat> and I don't want you guys to think that I get on to you or like I yell at you or anything, because I really don't. Um, I just, I want to try and keep you guys relative to what I think and feel about the internet. Because it is a scary place. Um, I've warned my own kids, same thing, like anything you put out on the internet, that's there for in infinity. It'll be there forever, unless you can find the server that is being housed on and crash that server. Don't do that, by the way. Um, Roblox game. Hold on, I'm gonna put back on the uh, the filter. It's because it's so dark. <laughs> All right, let's go. Go to get some wood. Going this way. Go through door number four. Oh, oh, oh excuse me. Now, I don't know this path very well. So I mean, I I could very well get lost. Um. Hmm. Oh, that there's a door. There's a door there. Alright, do we need to go this way? Maybe maybe we need to go this way. Should I pull out my handy Danny Blues clues map? Oh, oh, is that it? Oh! I know this path. Alright, so this turns around to the S. And this this goes straight ahead. No, this is something different. Wait, is this it? Yeah, this is it. Blue path, right here. Sorry, I I kind of sped through that. Um, by the way, the trees are little because it is a private server, and they they take a long time to grow. That's how you can always tell if there's a new server. If you jump in here and you come to the blue wood, and there's like, oh my gosh, it's so bright, dude. Hold on, turn out the lights. Boop. Turn out the lights and I'll glow to the extreme of rock and my click of vandal. <clears throat> now ice. There we go. I was saying something, but I forgot what it was. Oh, um, to the person that requested that I turn off my microphone whenever I drink my coffee, because you can't stand the um, slurp. And you're welcome. I will try and remember that. Uh, I just happened to... Re no. I can't move while holding it. Is this the update, Defaultio? Unable to move while lifting wood. That can't be, can't be the update. It's a horrible update. And I'm chopping the wood, just moving along. Woo. Hold on. Uh, maybe I should chop them all down. Like, uh, I don't really need blue wood. I mean, I've got, I've got blue wood. There we go. Um, that one up there. Boink. No. Oh, boink. It's kind of wedged. Wedged in there. That's good. <laughs> That'll work. That works. It doesn't work with me trying to. This is horrible. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Should I just write this off as... Uh-oh. I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. 
Should I just write this off as a maze video? I, I, that's what I'll do. You know what? This is now a maze video and how to get through the maze. So the last little part of this cave, all right, the one just before you get to the blue wood, this hallway, it's just an S symbol. That's it. The S symbol you don't have to worry about. If you know how to get to the S, you're you're golden. You're already there. So let's turn back around, head back down the S. All right. And there's this hallway that splits off into these relative paths. Okay. That hallway is just a dead end. Boom. Right there. Okay. So no no pressure going down that one. Itchy head. Okay. If you're, if door number one or two are open, <clears throat> you're going to be coming out this path right here. Door number one, two, or three. I think. Hold on. Let me think about door number one, door number two and three. Yep. So one, two, and three come out up here. I'm not going to go up there because it's not relative to what I'm doing right now. And I would probably just get distracted and tell you all about the maze. Um, the next portion is right here. And this little loop-de-loop -loop thing. Okay. So this right down here is just a little dead end. Alright. And the path that we want to keep on is right in between all this. Like this is this is the main path right here. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, because this leads to the S right there. Boom. Okay. Okay, cool. So, because we came out of door number four, we need to go down this path. Okay. This one right here, this leads off to some, some other areas. That don't really want to go down there. This one is where we want to go. And this is an S pattern, just like before with the cave. But it le leads to the second part of the caves. Okay, or the, sorry, the first part. So, this is a, a, it's a very significant part. This right here signifies you going from uh, cave portion one to cave portion two. All right, back here is where you can get lost. In between here, this S pattern. This is this is like a little portal going from one one side to the other. It's you can't get lost in it. So that's that's your next landmark. Think of that in, in your head and just keep that. Alright, so because we came out of door number four four, we need to go that way. If we came out of five, six, or seven, we'd go down here. I'll show you five, six, and seven. So Five. Door number. Oh, oof, oof. On door number six. And oh, right around here. Door number. Don't go that way. Door number seven. Okay. Cool. Now that we have all that, back this direction. I guess you could go that way if you wanted to, but I don't recommend it. Right there's the S pass. That's where you get lost. Actually, you might not get lost down there. I don't know what that goes to. All right, there's uh, not down that way. Down this way. There we go. This should be door number four. Right here. Boom. Yay! Now we're back on that main path. Don't go down there, get lost. This main stretch, this is in between the bottom portion of the cave and the top, or the left portion of the cave. There's door number seven. Door number six is down that hallway just to the right. And I dropped, no, I'm not dropping that. I can't drop that, hold on. Get that, move it right there. That's the paint shop down that way. This is the little H portion. And the 
This is the second portion or second entrance into the cage. Right here's the entrance entrance. Oop, go out there to get out. And there's the, the first entrance. So in all doors. Let's see, let's see. Hold on. Let me go see if the the Hoover is here. If the Hoover is here, then I probably won't do the, all the doors. But oh gosh. We're at 25 minutes. Oh man, that is some brightness. Oh gosh. Ugh. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, filters off. Oh gosh. Alright, where is it? <gasps> the Hoover! Oh gosh. You know what? Just real quick. Real quick. Let's turn that color correction back on and I will show you as fast as I can. Boink. All right, here we go. So putting it all together in one run as fast as I can. All right, we're still going into the cave. Take path number one. Follow the long hallway to the top. All the way down, and it's going to J-hook upward. Here we go. Turn right, J-hook right here. Bottom of the J into the J. Boom, door number one right there. And backwards. Flip a UE right here. Boink. <clears throat> Head straight up the back of the J. Turn left. And then turn right and take an immediate right again. And this is the top part of the fishbone. Or not the fishbone, the, uh, the wishbone. Bottom portion of the wishbone. Door number two. Door number three. Right there, door number three. That's just the, the other side of the wishbone. Long hallway. And this is what separates the top from the bottom of the first portion of the cave. Okay. Right here's the way back out. So, door numbers one, two, and three are covered. Take the second path, take the south to the hallway. This is the south portion of the cave. Door number four, door number five is right around the corner. Door number five. Oh gosh, oh gosh, come on. Head back out the hallway. Long ways down, taking a right. Door number seven and door number six. Oh my gosh, did I do it in time? Let's see if Hoover's still there. And just in case you were wondering, this is the path to the paint shop. Oh, oh, take a right. And then the next left. Left, then a right. Now it's going to be much harder at nighttime. We're gone. <laughs> uh, sorry, it's much harder without the lights on. I don't know if I said night or light. Night light. Alright, back out and turn, 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 turn. Woo! Oh my gosh, it's like a speed run in the maze. <laughs> here he comes, here comes Code Racer. He's a demon on trucks. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what's going on with my, uh, oh my gosh, I know what's going on with my color correction. It's just, ouchies. I don't know what's going on with my grab, like the pick up and pick down, so. I hope you've learned a little bit from this. If not, there's always a map that you can go grab from the Wikia page. Whee! Hi, Hoover. Hee hee hee, new code. Are you going sailing with me today? Why, yes, I would love to. Thank you. Hee <laughs> hee, thanks. We'll be on our way soon. Hey, uh, about how much longer until you, until you set set off? Well, from the looks of the sun, I'd say it's about four minutes, and I'll be taking off. All right, all right. I'll just I'll talk to my fans real quick, and then uh, I'll, I'll come back up here and talk to you for a little bit. Okay? Sounds like. A, what are you talking about, your fans? Good, like my, my fans, my fans. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. I hope you've learned a little bit about the maze and a little bit about the internet and a little bit about me. So, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below.
do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end like a good YouTuber is supposed to do. But it's really up to you. I mean, that's just a call out. YouTube says, hey, make sure you do call outs and call to actions. And okay, I'll do those. I guess that, that's relative. I love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. Now, if I could just find that amazing button. O-U-T-R-O. That's the one. That's, that's the outro button.